Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Fire Emblem Three Houses. Today we are going to advance or finish exploring, uh, but first we need to go over the fact that I've already done what I said I wasn't going to do a little bit, which is I got two people higher level than everyone else. So yeah, I got a level four, three, and one two. I should probably have five level twos right now, maybe one three, but instead of actually mixing it up a little bit i was like yo dog let's go ahead and just kill these guys because my cursor landed on them that's that's how it happened so i i'll try my best to spread out some of the killing blows in the future if there's enough enemies maybe one per character i don't know we'll uh only 15 good lord I think I already knew that actually. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, let's uh, let's end the day and next battle we get in, which maybe today, maybe we'll actually see some classroom stuff. I kind of thought we'd be doing more classroom stuff from like the initial uh, screenshots of the game that I saw. Have you not been told what's expected from lectures here? It's a little odd seeing you know, how it's been over a week. Tell you how it works based it's two on weeks, actually. Other professors. Why wouldn't the other professors and or, you know, my boss tell me? Uh, when you instruct your students, they gain skill experience. As their skill level increases, they will gain access to new abilities and combat arts. The number of people you can instruct is indicated by your active activity points at the top of the screen. When you set up a group task, the students will assign, uh, you assign will continue the task until you change it. At after the first round of instruction in each month, your students may come to you with questions. They will be motivated if they like your answer. Oh god, no. Before starting lecture, it's a good idea to determine everyone's academic goals. Okay. Students will want to prioritize studying things that will help them achieve their aim. Fair enough. Students study on their own and earn skill experience according to their own uh, skill uh, their skills goals. Results are reported at the end of each week. You can alter student goals anytime using the goals menu. Instruct. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their personal goals as well. By looking beyond their preferences, some students may find they're interested in fields they've never previously considered. Okay. A three-star mark next to a skill indicates that you will unlock a budding talent after a certain amount of instruction. Uh, once you've unlocked a budding talent, that person will go on to excel in that particular skill. They may even learn new ability or combat art. Okay. A student's goals may change based on their studies or the experience they gain while on missions. When that happens, perhaps you could help them decide what new goals they should set for themselves. So I'm like a counselor as well as a teacher. As students improve from instruction and personal study, they may approach you with suggestions on new goals. Uh, whether to accept their suggestions or not is completely up to you. Feel free to guide your students along your of your own choosing, a path of your own choosing. Motivation. I think I have like two people that are motivated. To help cultivate their motivation, I think it's a good idea to interact with your students as much as possible. Okay, you see, those two weren't on the list of people that I could bring the food. Please try your best to motivate everyone, so that they, in turn, will try hard with their assignments and activities. Hmm. Maybe, maybe there's like, uh, another list somewhere that I can, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's like an additional list that I just didn't see the button for when we were getting food together. Uh, you can instruct students with high motivation more frequently. Uh, one way to increase motivation is to interact with your students around the monastery. At the Officer's Academy, students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. If you instruct your students to work together as a team, it will help to deepen their bonds and produce better results. Okay. Uh, you can assign one group task each week. Students, will take part, uh, students who take part will earn a skill experience based on your choice. You can also set gold and resources by completing... Or you can also get, or not set, get gold and resources by completing these tasks. Uh, the result of a group task will depend on the student's strength, weakness, and affinity for one another. Have you heard about the certification exams? No. They take place every month. Oh, no. Everyone here is working hard to become a certain type of soldier. And those tests are how you can check to see how far we've come. In order to pass the exam, you need to train enough to become whatever... It's the class system. 
Okay. Take care to develop your students strategically so that they can pass their certification exams. When you pass the certification exam, you can change to a new class. Uh, benefits of a high tier class. Uh, benefits of high tier classes include increased uh, stats and growth rates. Okay, begin lesson. Um. Goals. What are we? Okay, is everyone just motivated? Everyone is motivated. I like it. So your goals are axe. Wait, is that? Yeah, axe and the leadership. Hubert is vampirism and necromancy. That's not true, Konos. Head cannon. Um, you are spear and axe. Matt, both magics. Reason and faith. Okay. Faith seems to be much higher for you. Casper is axe and punching. Uh, Bernadette, Bernadetta, there we go. Spear and bows. I like her as an archer, so that's fine. Uh, Dorothea is swordsman and reason. Okay, okay. Because of the choir? Petra is sword and axe. Ooh. Woohoo! Hmm. Oh! I have no idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we can get flying mounts, right? Yes, and riding and heavy armor and authority. So, reason is attack magic, yes, for the most part. Faith is healing. Weapon skills are great. But for right now, I think everyone's fine with whatever weapons they have. Being said, I'm tempted to change her to flying? Like, sword and flying? It's a D. It's already a D? Oh. Cronus, why didn't you just look over to the... Yeah, I'm dumb? Yeah, let's, uh, let's go with sword and flying. Because that sounds badass. Actually, hold up. Classes? Where's my flying uh, Pegasus? Lance! Oh, wait, can you only do lancing? Oh, well, that's horrible. Axe, uh... I guess I could do mercenary. I wanted to go for, like, the highest attack. Who has the highest total? The mage? Yeah, fair enough. Class abilities. Hmm. That stinks, to be honest. Uh, I definitely would rather her have, like, not spears. Wyvern is axe and flying? Maybe I just do sword master for her, right? Do mercenary. Ah, uh, okay. So think of it this way. So we start off with the sword, then mercenary, then sword master, which is just sword. Okay, that is extremely basic. We could do assassin, which might be dope. Which would require sword and hmm. Sword and boar bow. I can just game <clears throat> nah, I don't know. I was gonna say I, I could aim for like Th 
fighter, but that's probably too much to be asking. All right. Shoot. I'm going to go and look through all these right now, as I've already spent way too much time, and figure out what I want for my classes. And then we'll uh, adju I'll adjust the learning goals, and we'll go from there. Holy crap. Okay. I went ahead and I went through everyone's goals, and if they had a three-star thing, I went ahead and I selected it for them. Uh, just to get those out of the way, see what happens. As for future classes, uh, I, there's, I haven't really decided yet. Um, some of these guys I kind of left the same, but she's riding, so I'm probably going to aim her towards a... There's a down here. Paladin, Lance Riding, because that probably will be good. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, Dorothea is with Faith. She's negative on the Faith right now, but she has three stars, so apparently once she maxes that out, she'll be good to go. Uh, Petra here, I think I'm going to aim for Assassin, because that kind of seems like a dope thing to have. Like, movement's high, the stats are pretty good all around. You get lock touch, which I get I could get with, like, Thief. But she also has stealth as well, and sword fear. I don't know. We'll, uh, we're at the beginning, so if I mess this up... Oh, for a second there, I thought I had my own focus. I mean, I guess I probably do. What should I aim for you, huh? Who knows? Yeah, well, anyways, we should be fine here. Uh, we can set group tasks. Work the stable. Rising... Uh, sure, raises riding skills. So we would want Bernadetta, and that's it. <laughs> so Bernadetta and some other people. We can do weeding, which rises heavy armor. And we don't have anyone that's focusing on fl uh, flying. So you, you... Two star? Hmm, okay, so you... No. Wow, okay, so that's the best result. Two star? That's, that's awful. Is there anyone here that's gonna get more than two star? Does not look like it. Though... Okay, fine. You can... That, and since you seem interested in this, go for it. And then, instruct. So select a unit to train them and improve their skills. So we have three? Okay, she has two levels on everyone else. Screw off. Petra. What's the finger? What's the finger mean? Oh, Professor Expertise. Huh. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I don't I don't have that, but have some sword skill? I'm good with a sword. What the hell, game? Uh, base plus four, two strength. XP gain, six. So six is the highest amount we can get. Ooh, really? Only six, huh? You have my thanks for your support. No problem. I'm gonna back up. Wait, hold up. Can I only instruct one student? Okay, good. Okay. I was gonna say, what the hell? Um. Who's level two? You're level two. Casper, how's it going, dog? You're the friendliest ghost the most, right? Uh, you want to learn how to swing an axe? I can help you with that. Perfect. Nailed it. Perfect. Apparently. Uh, yeah. Good job, dog. Get it next time too. I hope so. I'm leaving though. I, I probably should focus on one student. Yeah. I know it's, you don't want to do this, but you got to do this. I have two sessions. 
Oh. Oh, wait. Does that mean I can... I appreciate your coaching, Professor. Oh, shit. All right, I am back and not stupid anymore. Really, Kronos? Kind of. All right, let's go over here. You get to do this two, three times, right? Good job, Dorothea. Absolutely praise. Quite the motivator, Professor. I thanks. And one more. And then, oh no, we have one more. Really? Huh? Oh, it's based off their motivation. I get it now. Um. Who else did I train? Casper. Hey, Casper. What's your goal? You're at your your axe and fist. I guess I'll. To be honest, I don't really know which one you would prefer, but have some axe. That went. No perfect this time? That went That's a shame. Oh wait, no, I still have one more to instruct. Um. Was I gonna instruct Petra? I think I was gonna do Petra. Yeah. You have my thanks for your support. Nope, no problem. Can you get a perfect so I can do like an extra one? Just all great around? To be fair, that's dope, because you, you you gave me points no matter what. Alright, well. That wasn't too bad the second time around. It only took like a minute to go through their goals. Again and I be asking a question. Oh god, no. I have a question. I wish to improve my lance skills, but I'm uns I have I am having uncertainty about how to be to be training effectively. What should I be doing? Try training with someone stronger than yourself, try studying the movements of others for improvement. Uh try someone else to boost uh train someone else to boost your confidence. Training Try studying the movements of others, yes. But goddamn right, I probably do. Oh, did oh I thought I leveled up there for a second. Don't give me those eyes, Casper. She looks okay. like she has issues. <laughs> Indeed, I will do my part. None of you get kicked. Good, you did it. Good job. Smithing stone and 500G. Yo! Wow, that went a lot better than I actually could have hoped for. Oh, it's someone's birthday today! Raphael, I don't know who you are, but here you go. Oh, it's the big dude! Oh, apparently we're battling today? Alright, I save, so just in case I completely die. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, auxiliary battles. Auxiliary battles are now available. How often you can battle is limited by your activity points included at the top of the screen. On normal difficulty, some auxiliary battles will not cost uh, activity points. Okay. If you head into battle while playing online, you may see the spirits of those who perish on other players' battlefields. They, really, they are more likely to appear in places where death is frequent. Uh, spirits that appear in this shape indicate an area that where many enemy units have fallen. Uh, you can collect items that were dropped by the vanquished. Okay, spirits that appear in the shade in this shade indicate an area where many ally units were lost. They can impart blessings such as experience or restored equipment durability. Practice battle. Okay, and we get gold. Suggested level three. I wish. Uh, I just saved, but all right. Thank you. My thank you so much. What? This month's activity persistence. So what is this? Oh yeah, you can jump by pressing B. What was that? Practice battle. White Clouds, Chapter 2, Familiar Scenery. 
In battle, it's necessary to deploy the oh, we have everyone? So students can experience taking command. I doubt I need to say this to a mercenary like you, but if you have any questions about how to use your soldiers, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Uh, assigning battalions. A battalion, oh, yeah. You'll need to decide who will lead them. Didn't Dad give me, like, a bunch of them? Battalions can contain soldiers like mages and monks who don't fight with weapons. Be sure to think carefully about who would benefit most from the support of battalion soldiers and their specific skills. Okay. Say I have a mage. Do I want to... I, it looks like I would, from the list they're showing me right now, it looks like I would want to stick them with a mage. Like, mage battalions with mages. In my head, I was thinking, okay, if I have a mage, give them, like, a melee group. So if someone attacks the melee, then I'm not sure how battalions work, to be quite honest. I'm figuring they're going to help me fight. Use the inventory menu to assign battalions to your unit, granting them increased stats like attack or hit rate. Okay, so they're just stat-ups. Okay. Gambits and rattling. When you deploy a battalion, you can utilize its special gambit in battle. If a gambit is successful, your enemy will be severely shaken. Dope. Units hit by gambits will be rattled. Rattle and uh, units cannot move. Use gambits or better or benefit for battalions or and suffer a ten percent. Wait, what? You? Oh, rattled units. Okay, sorry. Thought it was a different. I thought it was just telling me I should use gambits or else I will benefit from battalions or suffer a ten percent penalty, which made no sense in my brain. Gambit boost. With a nearby ally is a surefire way to enhance your effectiveness. Uh, when a gambit is used on an enemy within an attack range of one or more with other your other units, it will become a gambit boost. The might and hit rate of the gambit will increase based on the number of units participating and their support level. Okay, I, I didn't need to see that. Thank you. Uh, units. Yeah, we're all in battle. We are one short, actually. Okay. Uh, inventory, because we do have some battalions. Who? Oh, I already have mercenaries. You already have mercenaries. And you have the church boys. Okay, fine. Be that way. Reclass? Oh, no, we don't need that. And I think we're good to go. I could buy some weapons for the people that I changed their focus on, but I think right now that's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Route the enemy. Kronos or Edelgard falls in battle. Okay, how are we looking here? There's a lot of enemies. There's a ton of enemies! Oh my, okay. Um, Kronos, I need you to get into the bushes. Thank you. Wait. So you get into the bushes as well. Actually, no, you back up because you're a healer and I don't want you on the front line at goddamn all. I will prevail. You go over there, wait. I am Ferdinand von Eyer. Okay, Ferdinand von Eyer. So what was this about these? I thought it was something like picking up items or something. Put me in there. That's my cue. Oh, I know. Um, we'll come here. Oh no. Oh no. That should be fine. Sure, we'll bring you here. Training axe. Okay. That's worrying. But now I can end turn? Huh. Oh, so you do go up. Oh, you missed! Oh, you, you're critting? We're critting! All right. Who's... Go up here? Attack... There... Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
We don't need the move. Yeah. There you go. Only a fool challenges me. This is true. Only a fool does challenge you. So we'll come up here, attack with you. Hmm. Oh, mist! Oh, I'm liking this. I'm liking the mists. Can you attack? No, you can do combat art. What if I bring you up here, attack here? I'm only gonna do nine points of damage. Kinda wish your crest perked or procked, whatever the hell it's called. As you wish. Can you heal? Oh wait, that's you. No? Who the hell's the healer? You're the healer! I actually have no idea how to heal. Alright, well... Don't go over there, go here. So we'll move up a little bit. We do want these guys to come down and fight us in the brush, if at all possible. There. Um, and I think... Well, we can kill that one, and then Petra will probably be attacked, yeah? So we come here, attack Petra, this guy. And then she's gonna crit, which is a badass crit. I'm surprised. Shut up. Hey, torch. Okay, so she's gonna get attacked. Hopefully, they miss. Oh wow, they are missing all the time, aren't they? Oh, uh, we just apparently have killed this guy. Each battle, a chance to grow. And I have leveled up again. Strength, please? God damn it. Not a very good no, you're not, Kronos. Wow, these guys suck. <laughs> they, they have not hit, like, once? And I know we're in the brush, but still. Oh, wow. Petra. You go, girl? All right, well, you come up here, and then you can attack this guy, I guess. And apparently I'm gonna get be able to hit Hey, you hit me! Good job! But I recovered most of it, actually. Okay, so. Edel. Girl, do not kill this guy. I want to give it to Dracula. Good job. Okay, Dracula. It is your turn. Why can I not attack with you? Okay. Do not miss. Good job, Drac. How humiliating. Oh, you almost level up too. I mean, you can just come over here and attack with you. You won't kill it, but you'll gain experience. She's like, yep. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, we can bring you over here to attack. Oh, and kill this guy. There, okay. And I didn't even enjoy it. Wait, you did or didn't? I actually don't know what you said. Another crit? Girl, you're awesome! And you leveled up! Get strength, please! War feeds my body and mind. I guess. Sure, no strength, so I'm a little sad by that. You. Okay, if we move forward, those guys are probably gonna proc us. No, 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 no. 
Who has a turn left? Yeah, okay. So, position, wait, position, wait. And you can come over here. You're gonna go up there to Casper? That's kinda interesting. Like, why would you go up to Casper? Are you guys coming down now? Okay, let's start moving guys over here. Now, part of me is a little bit worried that they're gonna all go after the hero. So come here. You'll kill him. That's fine, actually. Eight damage is a little much. Witness Bridget Pride. Bridget Pride? What? Oh, can we heal her now? Hey! Finally. So we're good here. You know what? Combat art. Hmm. So you can come up here. Ah, uh, you're... Come up here and wait. Oh, XP attained. Oh, good job. You leveled up. We're not doing anything. Always get Yeah, so we'll just We're gonna be stationing our uh, our buddies here. No, we don't want them to go after her. We kind of spread them out so that people won't get one-shotted, maybe? Not one-shotted, but like, stacked up upon? Oh, you don't have to heal, you ass! Oh, and you healed with that too, nice. Oh, and you leveled up, good. Get magic, please. Strength! Strength! You got strength! Nine might. You need more than that, dog. You also need to stop getting hit, please. Okay. How are we gonna do this here? Oh, sweet, we're healing. Um, can you... Attack. You, you, attack. Seven. Hmm. Okay. Petra. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. What do I want to do? We come in here, and then we attack this dog down here. And then we fully heal. Each battle, a chance to grow. Then you come up here? I guess you could instantly just kill this one, right? There you go. Failure is not an option. No, you'll just get killed. Combat art, Tempest. You kill him. Sure. Okay, we'll kill him at the very least. Good job. You should be honored. We do, we just need to pretty much make sure that we're not gonna leave too many people out the dry when it comes to uh. We can't do that actually. Assist heal you.
Now you can come over here. Combat smash. I guess. I guess we could probably kill. Oh, crit! Well, this guy's probably dead, huh? Yeah. You see that? I was about to say we could probably focus fire at him. We'll probably end the battle too early, though. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. That should be enough for Bernadetta to come in with the, uh, the shot. Then we shoot, and you die, hopefully. Uh, probably gonna get you a lance sooner than later. No, you're very much alive. Wow. Yeah, you got, like, pretty great stat-ups there, dog. And we have attack on you, too. Okay. And you leveled up. Good. Any experience. Is this... Oh, it's gonna kill. Okay. Okay, this is going well. I'm probably taking too many, uh... Precautions, right? I probably could have done this faster. Good lord, you hit hard. Well, I guess her you do anyways. I'm assuming her resistance isn't all that great. Who's level one? Oh, Dorothea is. Okay. Well, we can come down here, right? And you'll be able to get this kill? No. You're not gonna kill? Damn it. I don't want... Okay. Do not hit him twice, or crit, thank you. And then we can come over here, attack, and get her some experience, and hopefully a level. Winning is always nice, you're right. Hey! Well, no, you got magic, which is good. I think it's the first time someone's got actually a core stat that I wanted. Wow, that is a lot of money. For what I was expecting. Petra's MVP? That seems about right. Renown increase. Don't really know what we're doing with that yet. And yeah, we'll save here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think I probably played it a little bit too safe, though. And I could have taken a little bit more risks. Like, one of the turns, I pretty much... What? I just put everyone in the trees, and then I didn't... I just kind of waited. I could have probably moved people a little bit forward, but at the same time... Probably would have got someone killed. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not overly protective right now, but... In fact, I'm doing it right. <laughs> Instruct manually, actually, yes. Of course. Here's the thing. Group task. Oh, are they, are they just gonna keep doing that? That's fine by me. How's everyone doing on their goals? Oh, that kind of sinks that I can't instruct you. Right, I can't instruct you because you're... yeah. Well then... You're, you're doing heavy armor, right? But you're not exactly equipped with heavy armor? Yeah. I appreciate your coaching. No problem. And it's plus E. Enlightening. Yeah? I was kind of hoping you were to, the three star thing was going to go up uh, higher there. Uh, I get two more. And only four more. So you... You're gonna get riding experience anyways, but I'm gonna give you some also. I'd never have learned this back in my room. I mean, I would hope not. It's a horse, Bernadetta. But I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I, right. I don't know if you guys have internet here. Just you know, be careful. All right. <laughs> Thanks. That's reassuring. 
I mean, I don't know why you, you give me the option to praise or not to praise, because at the same time, why wouldn't I praise? Ooh, she got a gold star! I did pretty well today. Anyone else here doing anything special? Yeah, you were doing that. You got a gold star? Ooh, Lance Prowess. Has much to teach. And I think we're all done with instructions there, so let's go ahead and begin the lecture. What's Wednesday? Sure. Probably should have saved and ended the episode at the last one, but learning these things gives me great difficult uh difficulty. Our voices are all over the place. We must learn to work together in harmony. Why why were they chosen? Don't we have a singer on the team? But I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, cutscene. It is done. Oh, it's the group task. Okay. I'm liking all of this. I won't forget all I've learned. Reason level one and axe prowess level two. The battlefield has much to teach. Marv. Okay, and reason level two. Lightning. Smash. It's starting to take shape. Wind. As long as it makes me stronger. Fading blow? <laughs> I think I got it. Oh, you got it. I've grasped it. How lovely. One step before the next step. Ah, okay. That worked out fairly well. I really need to work on some of these motivations, though, because holy crap. Free day? Okay. You're, uh, you have allies who can take beginner exams. Take a look at the certifications to review which, uh, review which they can take. Uh, five beginner seals. Good lord. All right. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video, so I can check out some of the content. See if it's to your liking. If you're into watching me live stream, head to twitch.tv slash Kodosplays. Give my channel a follow to notify when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.